bodies need lots of different kinds of foods to stay healthy, including fat. Our bodies need fat because it cushions our insides, the palms of our hands, the soles of our feet, and even our butts. All the fat our body needs in a day is in about one tablespoon of vegetable oil. That's about 15 milliliters. All the fat our body needs in a day is in about one tablespoon of vegetable oil. One tablespoon of vegetable oil. All the fat our body needs in a day is in about one tablespoon of vegetable oil. That's about 15 milliliters. 15 milliliters. 15 milliliters. 15 milliliters. So if you didn't catch that, that's 15 milliliters or 15 grams or one tablespoon or 0.5 ounces or 132 calories worth of fat. And that's how much the full grown adult needs every single day. Now, if you want to find the the whole episode on nutrition that I got from Bill Nye the Science Guy, I'll put the link right here and I'll put it down in the description below and you can find it there. Now, also as a disclaimer, I don't think that olive oil or any sort of vegetable oil is a healthy way in order to get that 15 grams of fat. Uh, I think it's a really good representation so you can actually see just how little amount of fat a full grown adult needs in a day. Uh, you know, I could make a whole video about the negative side effects of consuming oil and I probably will eventually so stay tuned for that. So yeah, it was that's information from Bill Nye the Science Guy. Obviously a pretty unbiased source uh, that has nothing to do with veganism, has nothing to do with the low fat diet, so it's really unbiased information and when you can uh, refer to very unbiased information to support your claims and when you can uh, go to different like anatomy textbooks, when you go to nutrition textbooks, when you go to exercise physiology textbooks to support your diet, that's when you know you're on the right diet. These paleo and ketogenic diets are really just a bunch of bro science. So your fat should be coming from whole plant foods, not refined oils, and definitely not animal products because eating animal products is a really good way to consume way too much fat. I mean, even 80% lean lean meat is about 60% per uh, by calorie of fat in the whole meat product. So. The 80% lean meat is referring to 80% lean by weight. So by weight, it's uh, 20. It's only like 20% fat, but per calorie, it's about 60% fat. So you you need to like really look into that. It can be really pretty deceptive. Like, oh, I'm not really eating that much fat. No, you're eating mostly fat. So what plant foods are low in fat? Most plant foods, other than like avocado, durian, ackee, are pretty low in fat. I mean, things that are low in fat examples would be like mangoes, apples, pasta, oatmeal, pineapple, bananas, dates, and that's just a few to get you started. So obviously you need fat. Omega-3 fatty acids, uh, which everyone's obsessed with, uh, they, you know, they're good for you. Definitely you need them. But do you need enough to justify getting supplements for omega-3 fatty acids when you only need 15 grams a day? I mean, even if you ate uh, about 15 mangoes in a day, that'd be like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, five mangoes each meal. That's around 3,000 calories, so not really that outrageous. That would be 19 grams of fat, which is completely fine. It's okay for you to go over. Just don't go too overboard. I'd say about uh, 30 grams of fat uh, is like how much, that's like the max I really like to hit every day. Uh, although I will go over sometimes, but normally around 30 grams. So just remember, the fat you eat is the fat you wear.